everyone, it's Robin. I'm here with Compassionista, and we are going to do a tie-dye tutorial in all of the rainbow colors um, for spring, for Easter, for just warmer weather, but for it's fun. It. For the heck of it. <laughs> I, I, I want to show you um, what I have. Okay, here we go. Where am I? <laughs> I lost it. We're talking about too much at once. This is called Super Mega Water Marble Hollow. It's MDJ Creations, and it's just a silver hollow. I love it. I, I just I, I just wanted a thin hollow for underneath. Just to pop the colors, um, I have all of the colors by Folk Art here pushed out. Neon pink, orange, yellow, blue, and purple. All the rainbow. I'm starting with purple because it was closest to my um, brush. I'm using my brush, RobinMosesNailArt.com, and it's called The Wand and you can get it there for $10 and under. I use it for all 1,400 of my tutorials, and I would like for you to spread the word on anyone who is struggling with nail art and with their brushes. I have a tutorial on how to keep them nice, and they should last you for years if you take care of them properly. So, anyways, I'm going across like this and just scribbling in the purple like that. When the purple's on, I will go to the pink. The pink will hit the purple and kind of mess together in there. And then we take it around like that. And I'm just going to do a couple for you. But you blend them into the color and then outside of the color, kind of like going in and out. In the color, out of the color. So there's a little bit of pink and a little bit of, of purple. Then I'm going to go in with the blue. Blue hits purple. So I'm going to hit the blue in and then dot. I want a little bit of the silver showing just so that there's some hollow here and there and it kind of gives it a uh, pastel feel. If you did this on black it would have a whole different look than, than if you did this on white. Than if, you did th if you did this on white it would be so dramatically blazing neon. So try white and show me if you do. Hashtag me, Robin Moses Nail Art. Inspired by Robin Moses. Both of those tags get me to see what you guys are doing. And it also creates a sharing environment where we give credit to artists who inspire us. We as prof uh, professional and, and uh, home nail artists need to do that to keep our um, craft alive. So. I'm doing all I do for practically for free here in um, exchange for you guys spreading the word and building our classroom so that we have things to do and make for um, inexpensive. So all, this whole design costs less than a dollar. So go ahead and just buy your paints and start practicing. Someone asked me in the comment section yesterday um, to say, how much practice. So it takes about 10,000 hours of practice to become a master of something. And I'm going to say that I have put at least 10,000 hours in this and that's why it looks easy for me but that's why I'm breaking it down for you step by step so that it doesn't take you as long. And I think that you can master this in way less time. So as long as you don't give up, I'm not going to give up and I'm going to keep showing you stuff to make your job easier and um, more efficient so that you can have a clientele. How many clients do I pass over every year, Compassionista? <laughs> I wouldn't even know what to right. guess. Right, thank you. How many people have you seen me have to turn down? Multitudes. Yes. And I'm telling you, everywhere that I go, people say, oh, I wish I could get my nails done like this. And people I... want to become my friend just so they can get, get to it. you. Right. And, and that's how it's been. So uh, I'm telling you that this can happen for you. I do this so this can happen for you and no other reason just so that you can be successful because being successful at your job here in this industry is important and not a lot of people in our industry share stuff like this they want to sell you things so I'm sharing this with you and then if you want to buy the stuff they they sell later after you got your craft and you know that this is for you then I I back that a hundred percent like that's that I want you to have like all the best know-how all the best stuff that works for you and create an environment so that other people can go to the salon and get their nails done by someone good doing it on on YouTube is not gonna make you rich 
you know, but you can have a very good living doing this in a shop. So I hope you guys are watching how I'm building this together and I'm just going to do it one by one. I'll meet you back when I'm finished and boop. Okay, so now I have most of the colors laid out. Let me, let me get one that's kind of not. There's one. Okay, so the colors are kind of laid out in a rainbow, right? I went in with the purple, pink, orange, yellow, green. I mixed the blue and yellow together, made the green, started with the blue again. Now I'm going in with the purple. The purple and the yellow are the darks and the lights. So now with the darks, I'm going to go through and just kind of like um, dot in dark areas to give dimension, right? So you have to go a little bit dark. I'm holding the brush horizontal to the nail so that I can put in lines without drawing them like this and just kind of push in the darks. Do you see how that adds more dimension? Because it's, it's another layer of dark. Even though it's the same color, it's going in darker. So I'm going in right at the corner so that's a little darker. Then with the yellow, the yellow is the light, I'm going to go in again and put in the lights like this and you see how it punches up another notch I'm just adding two layers it's not I'm not adding any white to this because the bottom color of that silver uh, hollow it is light enough to punch the yellow up but without making it so neon that it hurts your eyes like if you want to hurt your eyes with neon then do it with white and you'll have such good results I'm just doing it with a it's going to be a very subdued pastel neon pretty kind of like a it's just a, a lighter version so that you can it goes with more stuff it's not better or worse it's just different and I and I love it so what happened was I did this on the doctor and she loved it so much she wanted it again and then um, I said no and I did it for compassionista mm -hmm. Can we, can I, <laughs> I'm not laughing <laughs> Because Compassion needs to, her, her, her nail beds are a little bit longer for the camera. And the doctor had to have Disneyland nails for um, yesterday. And so I, didn't, I couldn't do it. And I, can't, I don't want to forget about it. But I couldn't get the Disneyland on film because I was late for my appointment. And so I was like rushing. So I'm like constantly behind with her. Ugh. There. <laughs> was that Feel DMI? Feel better? <laughs> Was that too? See, insert a, poop emoji here. <laughs> thank you. And if I could, I would. But unfortunately, see, I, 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 if I, if I had more time and I wasn't working on the computer so dang much, I could have got everybody filmed correctly. But oh, I'm always working because all these dang hackers got my Facebook. If I quit Facebook, this is where you're gonna find me. Might as well say that while I'm ranting. So do you see? Oh my God, this is my favorite part: is putting in the darks and the lights. Because you can just talk. <laughs> and, and me and Compassionista were talking hella trash today. So, it ends with a beautiful rainbow. Doesn't it? It always does, doesn't, doesn't it? It, it does. It, it's, uh, she makes me want to have a little tiny donkey. It was a miniature. Well, he wasn't really even a miniature donkey. A miniature donkey. I really want one really bad. He was look, so cute. look up Tiny Tim Miniature Donkey on YouTube, you guys, and watch it. And then if you if anybody can afford one or has one that they know that I w will have, you never never hurts to ask. Oh my gosh, Compassionista, what if we both get one? <laughs> Someone's like, oh, I can't wait to unload my two small donkeys onto somebody that's <laughs> right around the corner from us. You never know. If that happens, you owe me. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe. It might happen, Zoe. That would be great. It would I be. Love donkeys. Oh my god, that'd they be wouldn't awesome. give me a donkey. They just give me some old ass. <laughs> well, that's okay. I mean, you know what? Like, like the, the old pack mule that's like half dying. He's got like three legs dragging behind him. He's like pulling himself like two legs. That well, you would know be what? If it runs half as cute as that donkey we see on the computer just now, I would take it. I would take it. God, it was Warts cute. and all. That freaking donkey. Oh my gosh, he ran so cute. So, while, okay, so that was a bunch of extra filmage for nothing, but I'm going to add some sparkling water by, sparkling water by Twy True and give me that nail. These are all dry. Okay, here we go. Bam, there we go. So, when you put those sparkles over the top of it, 
you turn it into um bam bam okay so let me get some there oh my gosh it's so cute i'm gonna do another one or you can do it with flat uh matte top coat and um and it would have like a t-shirt effect of of uh tie-dye perfect okay so i'll meet you back Boop. Okay, now these are so highly reflective. Um, I'm going to take pictures of them outside for my blog. So there is one way. Let me let me get, super shiny. Yeah. yeah, let's get that on there. So anyways, there is the nails. Boom. They are so cute. Perfect for Easter. Perfect for one nail for Easter. For like if you're doing Easter eggs, look at that little rainbow oh my goodness so anyways i upload every monday wednesday and friday robin moses nail art for all dot com for all of the brushes subscribe if you try these please 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 tag who inspires you it is very important for hand painted artists to stick together and tell because we only have each other. We don't have products. We don't have things like that. So we have to tag each other's names. So please put inspired by Robin Moses if you try these. And if you um, copy from another hand painted artist, give their name. It makes their day. It makes it worth sharing. And then it keeps us together and I and as I grow, I can do other hand painted nail artist work and we can do collaborations like this and grow. So anyways, I hope you guys learned a lot and had fun and have fun painting and I'll see you back with more. Bye everybody. Bye. 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 Boop. Okay, and here is the end design. And I hope you guys like these. You can get uh, the brushes I use at robinmosesnailart.com. Please, please, please tag who inspires you. And um, if you're doing any kind of hand-painted nail artist work, just just uh, hashtag inspired by Robin Moses or whoever inspires you and keep us together as a community of hand-painted nail artists so that we grow as a whole community. It is the only way that we can keep growing and having fun painting. So anyways, I will see you back with more and everybody have a great day. Bye. 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 Bye.